What's up, Shmodown fans? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Shmodown. I'm Star Wars competitor Andrew D. Melanta. And I'm Nikki D. Melanta. Andrew Star Wars competitor Nikki D. Melanta. Oh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Thank you for joining us on this another episode of Beyond the Shmodown. Beyond. Uh, Beyond. <laughs> I don't know why the way you said it made me think of that. Yeah. We, Beyond this moment. God, we haven't had Goddard on in like two months. I know. It's a crime. It's We're, really, really upsetting. I we, feel like I haven't talked to him in yeah, and, forever. And Quarantine's I been really taking its toll on me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> it, I, I think he still listens to Joan. If he doesn't, somebody tell him it's just, it's, there's so much to talk about and a lot of stuff going on in personal life. And a lot of, just, yeah. It's a lot of stuff. So a lot's going on right now. Lots going on. But we do have what four or five matches to go over. A lot, yes. A lot. Four or five, yeah. Four or five, and then we also have the throwdown that we're gonna get to tomorrow again. Yeah. Otherwise, I feel like I feel like we're just gonna be rushing through everything if we try to do it all in yeah, one. Yeah. So we're gonna be splitting it again. And like I said, I don't like doing episodes that are like two hours, two long. and three hours long. I mean, I know I like my podcast to be at least an hour, or at most an hour. An hour, yeah. I don't know. I just don't have time. But yeah. So. But before we get into the matches, I think we should just very briefly go over this hot, hot topic. Which one? Of uh, which one? <laughs> well, um, the one I think that everybody's talking about is um, well, if you know what's going on, you know what's going on. But it basically, boils down to the hands rule. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, it not gotcha. being enforced, and I'm not going to go into who said what or who's being yeah, accused of what. If you know what's mean. going on, you know what's going on. And, and if if you've made accusations, you know who you are. Yeah, uh, and it's just, I don't. And we don't think anybody would cheat in the game. No, not for a second. And it, it, it's just, you know, there's a. I think the, the hot. The, I think the biggest point of discussion is, again, you're uh, you, you have the right to be critical of gameplay. Yeah, of course. And things like that. But then going out and straight out accusing somebody of something. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have a if you notice something, don't bring it up in a public forum and like accusing people. It's like. Yeah, it's there's a time and a place for it, and I think, you know, on the Facebook group where you can yeah. interact with competitors, that's kind of not the place to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 weird. Yeah. So the whole thing, I mean, I'm sure if you're listening to the show, you're aware. Yeah. <laughs> but like the whole thing is that, you know. People lately have been complaining about mm -hmm. the hand rule not being enforced where you have to keep your hands in plain view. Unless you're writing something on your board, you need to keep your hands in plain view because people want to make sure you're not Googling something on your, yeah. on your phone or whatever. Um, and, you know, you see matches, you know, here and there mm -hmm. where people don't have their hands inside and whatever. And there have definitely been recently... Uh, I can think of at least three players who have been named of people accusing them of cheating. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> come on. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, I agree mm -hmm. with these people only to the extent of I agree that it should be enforced only enforced. consistently. Yeah. But not because I think, you know, so and so cheated. I think it needs to be enforced to keep these people from, from thinking yeah. that Tra weird st stuff is going down. Yeah. Because, you know, when somebody is. You know, looking down. It looks fishy. It yeah. looks weird. It looks suspect. Mm -hmm. Sure. Absolutely. I can agree with you on that. It looks weird. Yeah. Do I think that, I mean, I, I want to say a competitor's name is so bad, but I'm not going to. But like, yeah. if you think for one second that one of these people that was accused is going to cheat, yeah. you are out of your effing mind. Yeah. Like. It's, it's insulting. Insane. It's, it's insulting. incredibly insulting. So that's the only reason that I do agree that it should be enforced because you want everything to be as transparent, transparent. as possible. Yep, that was the word I was, I was trying to bring up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You want things to be transparent. You don't want to give anybody an, even an inch to be like, but what about that? That look, that, no, that person's cheating. You know, you yeah. don't want to give anybody the chance to even have room to make those accusations mm -hmm. at all. So that's the only reason why I'm like, yeah. No, I get it. You yeah, know, I get it. But a lot of stuff's going on and, and stuff like that is probably at the back of, you know, Christian and Mark's minds. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and coming from a competitor standpoint, it's hard to keep your hands up the entire time because you're you're trying so yeah. hard to think of the answer, and you 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 slip into habits. Mm -hmm. My habit is looking down, and like, and this is exactly why I thought of this setup. It's like, well, if I'm gonna do it in in this room, our camera's across the yeah. This the room. is your exact this, setup, right? This is my exact setup and that I use. You can see everything. You can see, and that's exactly why I was like, I could go in tighter on me so you could see my face, but 
I yeah. want it. I want it to be a wide enough shot to where you can't even accuse me. You don't of, have to worry. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. So it's like, and it's easy for my me to keep my hands up because the tables are here. So oh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if that's what people are seeing, yeah. and then I have my hands on the table. You can see what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, it was I'm a little tighter. Weird. Yeah, it was a little tighter on on me for um oh. for the uh. To the Star Wars tournament, true. But it, again, it's easy for me to have my hands up because I can put my elbows here. I can, ha and I always went like this. Yeah. So you can see that I'm clearly not doing anything. But you know, so, people are using webcams and yeah. in their laptops or what have you. I don't know mm -hmm. what people are using, but mm -hmm. yeah, it should be enforced just so that people can't make these yeah. accusations. Um, and easy fix for the competitors: just push your camera back a little bit further, yeah. just so they can see you from at least like torso up. Yeah, and and you wouldn't be accused of that, but it, it's hard for for competitors to to remember. Hey, hands up! And yeah. but I think that's just it. Just boils down to like, try let's try to enforce it. Yeah, more and not just because we're again not because we're accusing anybody. No, not that, for a not for a second. second. It's just transparency for the fans to keep them exactly. from complaining about it. Exactly. So. and I saw somebody make the suggestion. Ah, oh, they should get a line judge to enforce things like this people are busy yeah. like you don't just get to summon somebody and be like yeah. ah, a line judge surely this person's available every yeah. time i film a schmo down like you got to pay people you got to compensate mm -hmm. them for their time unless you find somebody who's just like yeah sure i'm not doing anything yeah and and yeah pulling back the curtain there are other people behind this the scenes that are present during these streams, but they're already worried about they're doing uh, stuff. They're doing stuff. They're worried about other things. Yeah, they're moderating the chat, make sure nobody's um, putting the answers in the chat. So they're busy too. To add another thing onto that is just yeah. so much. It's just too much to ask. In a perfect world, yeah, there'd be yeah. there'd be a, a hand rule enforcer, yeah. you know, in the credits of the schmodown and yeah, but. I mean, people complain about anything, about anything and everything. And, you know, if somebody backstage is putting it into private chat, hey, Christian, make sure their hands are up. Yeah. And then Christian goes and reads it. It kind of distracts him. And then he's trying to read a question. He gets distracted. People are going to complain about the question he read because yeah. he didn't read it right. Yeah. So, you know, <sighs> there's a lot of stuff going on. I think people are just bored. <laughs> people have a lot of time on their hands right yeah. now, you know, and I get it. Mm hmm. It's, a, I get it. Yeah. Because I have absolutely gotten passionate about stuff in the Schmodown, and I've actually probably done stuff that I have said other people shouldn't do because yeah. I'm human and everybody makes mistakes. But I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's been a bit of a point of debate and yeah. discussion. And yeah, again, Christian has to step in and be like, look, guys, chill. We're, we're, we're of it. Just chill. Yeah, we're we're we're, do, we're dealing with the best we can. Yeah, yeah, we have to pivot in a certain situation. This is just something that came up during these things. So yeah. let's go ahead and get into the matches. Uh, I think let's we do it. <laughs> I don't want to drone on and on about that point because we could just say the same stuff in a hundred different ways, yeah. which we probably already just did. <laughs> so match number one, Matt the Kahuna. I thought he was Big Kahuna, but Matt the Kahuna Achidi mm -hmm. versus Mark the Android Andre. Go. I was really looking forward to this. Match. Mr. Achidi, of course, is yeah. representing. The usual suspects yeah. and Mr. Andrako is representing the rock stars. Two factions that absolutely need the points. Yes, that is yeah. a fact. Yeah. Round one. Actually missed something about George of the Jungle. Mm -hmm. Um, because on that question he asked for a JTE after the timer had run out. Oh yeah, that's right. Classic bad actually. <laughs> And then he missed a Kong Skull Island question, Annabelle creation question, mm -hmm. and Draco got a perfect round. Not really to anybody's surprise. Yeah. And he got the bonus question. So by the end of round one, flawless first round, five to nine in favor of Mark Andreco. Yeah, and I think these these problems continue to come up with Atchity of the, of the fact that like you know, he's been playing the game for what three seasons, mm. and it's, these things it's like you think he would you know understand the game a bit more. <laughs> you think, but it's like and um. I, again, I think uh, another thing that people keep in mind is latency. Maybe he did get it in in time. It's just the delay. It seems his internet seemed to be a little laggy at times. I don't know. But uh, given his past studio playing, match, I'm just playing devil's advocate. It's like maybe he did get it in time. It's just the latency issues sending video across the internet. I respect that. But given, so. <laughs> his, given his studio performances, I, I don't think. Shut that up, was Andrew. The case. You're an idiot. I don't think that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> if history. Teaches us anything. I, I don't think life yeah. played a role there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, just like further down into into the match, it's another thing that crops up. It's like, oh, Atchity, what? Classic. <laughs> Classic Atchity. That's just quintessential Matt Atchity. <laughs> Round two. And Draco goes. He gets Spinner's Choice. He Ooh. chooses 80s, 80s. The 1980s. 19, just in case yeah, you weren't I like, sure. I like how they uh, they have to clarify that yeah. now. <laughs> It like, could have been some other uh, with, with every petty challenge 
comes, comes a, new, a new joke. A new joke. <laughs> a new like schmodown meme. Uh, or a new thing that that Christian and and, uh, and Mark have to do. It's like the 1980s. Or well, can you spell that for me, please? Yeah. Or, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's hard to keep up with these like yeah. silly things that come up because when they happen, they're a big deal and it's like yeah. burned into your memory. Mm-hmm. So at it's least like we the, got that going for us. <laughs> it's like you never never forget the ones you miss. Yep. You never forget the ones that people get heated about. Hey, uh, yeah. So, so he goes. 1980s. Mm. He goes multiple choice one time, missed it. Mm. It got stolen. He had a two point miss actu- actually, mm-hmm. and uh, Matt did not steal it. And Matt asked for multiple choice. So that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, was-, was that lag too? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then every time we say lag, uh, sorry, pit tangent, but like you know, we play with friends online, oh my God. and every time we lose our, our oh, match, that was because you lagged us. You, we have a lag. <laughs> you deed us, and we lagged. <laughs> Jesus, Spectrum, get your, your crap together. I'm lagging all over the place. <laughs> Even I'm though we have AT&T. Warming up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, tangent. Uh, so then he goes to multiple choice another time, but he got that one right. Mm-hmm. Mad Ashity. He gets direct doors. Mm. He goes to multiple choice thrice. He misses two. One gets stolen. Mm-hmm. One does not. And then he gets his third multiple choice. So by the end of round two, it's nine to 13, still in favor of yeah. Mr. Android. Mm-hmm. Round three, do you think Mark has an Android or an Apple? I think he has an Apple. Californians. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to. Come on, man. I don't mean to like. Really you know. missed a branding opportunity there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think. I think All he... these LA types and their yeah. apples. <laughs> Am I, right? I don't mean to. I don't know. You... Am I right, though? <laughs> If you're in LA and you're listening to this, well, <laughs> let me know what you have. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, we 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 went out to to the, the West Coast for uh, my cousin's uh, wedding, yeah. And like, they're like, "Wait, you have Androids?" It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like every then my cousin's like, "Yeah, we're just used to everybody out here having Apple." So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I think just a Floridian on, uh, with my Android. <laughs> on the note of uh, Andrico's nickname, I think that was just back in the, the day when. Uh, Christian was making up nicknames and it's like it was all just all out. All, all yeah, well, sorry. um, it would make sense for him to have one. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Round damn. Th- damn opportunity miss. <laughs> Round three, two point for Atchity. Mm. He gets dance, a ballerina dance. movie. Mm, dance, <laughs> a ballerina movie with Julia Stiles and Sean Patrick mm. Thomas. Save the last dance. He, he missed it. it. Yeah. Oof. Oof. So it stays with him for his three pointer. Crime films, hmm. 1996 film with Brad Pitt and Kevin Bacon, friends in a boys' center, later put on trial for some kind of a murder. He missed it. Oof, another miss. Oof, five pointer for Ashley. I right? Yeah, you right. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Oof. Who plays the youngest child, Samuel, in Legends of the Fall? Oh, here he got it. Yeah. So he he really picked it up here mm-hmm. in the five pointer. And then it bounces back to Andrico. Andrico. Two pointer. He gets Drew Barrymore. Mm-hmm. Who plays her co lead in Fever Pitch? He got it. So the match ends up 14 to 15 in favor of Mark Andrico mm-hmm. and the Rock Stars. Much, much needed points to the Rock Stars because. <laughs> Uh, up until this point, the only two competitors on the Rockstar that have been de- delivering is Alex Damon and one match from Stacey Howard. So this is again, we teams like this at the bottom need to get the ball rolling, and a win like this just helps them along. Every little bit helps. Yeah, and yet, and I think we have yet to see Snyder, Snyder go, um, and who else is on the Rockstars? Because we already saw Vavita, right? Yes. He. he oh, you mean in the singles tournament? Yeah, in singles tournament, he he already got knocked out. Um, he did. That is a fact. So he got knocked out, and Draco won his match. We're waiting for Snyder and who else on the Rock Stars? David Del Rio. Del Rio. Which we are we'll, going to talk. Oh, no. We haven't seen that one yet, right? We'll, we're going we're to get to it. Wait. No, yeah. We did. That, that's in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get, <laughs> Never we'll, mind. We'll, that we'll match did happen. Yeah. Um, so. And then who else on the Rock Stars? We got, we got, we got. Oh, uh, Snyder. 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 Baby and, yeah, Baby. Okay. Baby. We hit yeah. all the bases. Got it. Yeah. So. I mean, we yeah, this is one of the heavy hitters, but I was surprised by this one. This didn't go exactly as I thought it was going to go because Same. Um, these are two very knowledgeable, knowledgeable competitors, and they had a very underwhelming performances because you know, yeah, yeah. Draco had the first uh, perfect flawless first round, but then he stumbles a bit in the second round. Ashley's not a great first round, stumbles a bit in the second round, and then just 
answers one correct answer in the th- in the third. Luckily, it was the five, but still, it was yeah, only one. It's only one, but so I was like surprised by this one because uh, I would have thought that the gameplay would have would would have been what cost Ashley, but it was just misses. Yeah, and not knowing the questions, and and I think for both of these competitors, is it ring rust? Because how long has it been since we saw Ashley? It was. It's- it's been since when last season. he challenged season. himself, right? Yeah, it was last season. Yeah. Or no, it was this season, sorry. No? No. Last season. I think it was last season. Yeah, Wasn't last season Wasn't it the tournament. one against the family? Yes, yes, sorry. Well, yeah. um, time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Corona. I have no concept of time thanks, anymore. Thanks, Corona. What day is it? But um, yeah, so the last time we saw him was last season. Last time we saw Draco was against Who's the Boss earlier in the season. So it's been a while mm. since we've seen both of them. Yeah. Longer for Ashley, so I was wondering is maybe Ring Rust was just just shaking off the cobwebs for both of them, and it's just unfortunate that for yeah. Ashley it was in the tournament setting. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how Andreco does in the next round. Who yeah. he faces next? Bring up the graphic, please. Mark Andreco next will face Brendan Meyer. Ooh, yes. Yeah, that's so gonna be a good one he too. Needs, he, he, I think he needs to bring in that one because again, Shazam is on fire. Brendan Meyer is picking up steam and if Andrico doesn't come to deliver uh, in that match and if he has another performance like this one it's going to be sign sealed delivered for the mercs yeah, exactly. you know what i mean so um yeah i mean not the, not again not the best of matches but it, it does get the ball rolling for the rock stars um so and for Ashley, it's like mm, oh. It's just Matt. It's just, <laughs> again, it, it wasn't the gameplay. He's play. incredibly knowledgeable. He's incredibly knowledgeable. It's just it's just he he got hit in some of his blind spots, mm-hmm. which happens sometimes. Maybe so. he just was he maybe he was just so relaxed that going into this match that he's like, oh wow, I didn't wasn't oh, wasn't, right. wasn't prepared as much as he should have been. Yeah. Um, in this setting because, um, and we'll get to this. I'm, I'm gonna bring up something later about di- digital matches versus studio matches and mm-hmm. live matches. We'll get to that in a bit, but um. Yeah, so. I love the irony of how I can watch a match like this mm-hmm. with Mark Andreco and Matt Ashley, two people who are incredibly knowledgeable, yeah. and be like, "What a poor performance!" Ugh. <laughs> and yet I play along. I get like one question right. <laughs> like, if you well, step back and think about the sheer volume, volume of yeah. movies that are possibly within the question pool, it is yeah. staggering. Yeah, and it's just it's the irony is not lost on me that it's like. Ugh. Wow, what well, a poor I mean, first round! <laughs> well, you gotta get a look at these competitors and like look, look at their skills. Look at their skill and their sets. Past performances. And yeah, exactly. It's like I expected a little bit more. Yeah, but again, it's them coming back from a, a long hiatus, and maybe they are just focusing on other things that during quarantine and, and stuff. So not everybody has time to study twenty four seven. No, like that's what I'm saying. So. And the fact that they know the stuff that they is, yeah, it's beyond me. I don't even. I get one point in the first round a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> they were great performances, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Next match, Next match, we have Tom versus Tim the Tank Franco. Tim tank. Tom is, of course, the den. Tim the Tank is for the Mercs. Ooh. So, and a lot of people, you know, had some stuff to say. You know, everybody's really excited about the Tom character. I'm everybody. I use that term loosely. I'm sure yeah. there's some people that aren't a fan, whatever. There's always yeah. somebody. But I think most people are really into the Tom character. Oh, yeah. Um Speaking of the hands rule, I did see some people be like, oh, my God, Tom didn't have it. One time he put his hands over the camera. How do you know he wasn't? Burp, burp. <sighs> He's committed to his character. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of the character, like, <laughs> come on. Like, how do you not like Tom in this? Like, he's he's gotten to a spot where it's, like, so enjoyable to watch him do it. And it was a new Tom because he was, like, forced to engage and interact with the camera. Yeah. He usually... In a, in a studio or a team setting, I feel like it's so much easier to like just you know just fall back fall into, into his it, character yeah. and just fade back into his character, you know. Mm. But I feel like he was forced to engage and yeah. forced to verbalize more, so that was an interesting. New <laughs> Even aspect. though there were just one word answers, like yes, yeah, I just but in a weird way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a weird way, it was almost like he had to engage more. Yeah. But it was. I'm still down for it. Tom is awesome. Tom, I love yeah, him. Yeah, I, I, I remember when I, when he first debuted. I'm like, what is this character? Yeah, is I doing? wasn't him and Video Drew. I, I was yeah. not quite on the bus. Yeah. But now I'm like, got a, I got a, I got Tom, a, a yeah. lifelong bus pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wasn't on the bus at first. <laughs> I think I said that. But like, did him, I just say that in my head? Maybe. <laughs> did I say it all out? <laughs> but his character with um Kate work oddly works really well. 
Yeah. Like him calling her, her mom yeah. and him treating like a like the little clicker like he's she's training him. It's like wow, it worked. And there's one one time where he where um was it this match where uh Kate kind of breaks a bit and it makes her laugh. Yes, we'll get to that. Okay, okay, we'll so, get sorry. to that. Yes, Jumping yes, ahead. Yes. I'm sorry. Because I, I, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So round one, they both missed a question that had to do with Jack Nicholson. And then they both missed a question that had to do with Bumblebee and the Transformers. Oh, I got that one right. <laughs> yeah, you did. I remember that. By the end of round one, it's six to six. Hmm. Round two, Tom goes first. He spins away from James Bond. Mm -hmm. He gets Julia Roberts. Yeah, he's, I think he spun away from James Bond because Franco is good at, at James mm. Bond. Cue everybody asking for a Mike Kalinowski, Tim the Tank, Franco, James Bond exhibition match. I think they did. Probably. <laughs> I think it's coming. I think it's on the schedule. Oh. So. Well, he had a two point miss, but luckily for him, there was no steal. Mm -hmm. Tim goes. He spins historical epics and dramas. Ugh. Oh. Then he spins again, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he spins again and he gets spinner's choice and what does he pick Oof. oh i don't know james, james bond, bond. <laughs> he goes to multiple choice oh, james bond james shaking bond. not stirred am i right <laughs> multiple choice he gets it right does he have any other kind of catchphrase oh james bond yeah. bond james bond yeah that's one <laughs> there are others hey ladies bond <laughs> <laughs> wow. so the end of round two <laughs> it was 12 Wait, so we go over sorry i completely blanked on his second round what did he do oh he did really well he multiple choice once but he got it right yeah so he perfect perfect second round yeah 12 to 13 at the end of round two in favor of mr tim mm. franco not tom round three tom two-pointer tom gets rom-coms mm -hmm. who plays juliet in romeo and juliet he got it mm. bounces over to tim Oscar movies. Mm. Who was the only person to win an Academy Award for acting in Boyhood? Missed Oof. it. Stays with Tim. Three pointer dramas. 2008 film where Meryl Streep and Amy Adams play nuns. He got it. Three pointer bounces to Tom. Tom. Tom gets Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Which film got Tom his first nom for Best Actor? <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. You like that? I like that. He got it right. <laughs> Bounces back to Tim for his five-pointer. 2000s. Who plays Frank Levin in The Lincoln Lawyer? And he missed oh. it. So 16 to 17 in favor of Tom. Hmm. In the post-match interview, <laughs> they asked Tom how he feels about Jader because that's going to be his oh, next yeah. opponent. And Christian's saying that, you know, how the do you hurricane. feel about Jader? He's the hurricane. And <laughs> Tom's like an actual hurricane. Some might say, sure. And he's like, how are you going to get it in a room? And <laughs> this is the one that broke Kate. Just thinking about it. I can't... <laughs> the delivery He's on so it. Good. I mean, it's probably, it sounds so stupid. Yeah, if, it, if, you like... don't, if, if you don't like his character or if you didn't watch the match, you're probably like, wow, these idiots. Yeah. But, oh man, that just, it, it hit me right in my tickle bone. It's, it was it's so such, funny. It's such a, you had to be there. You had to watch it there moment. You go back oh, and watch man. the match and just go back and watch this An moment. Actual this, hurricane? this has to be on the Clips channel because this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a, it was, <laughs> it was, fantastic. and this was a, a really good match because it's like, it was a, a back and forth, back and forth, you know? Yeah. Um, and I believe Franco, the last time we saw him was at, uh, in the team with um, Stacey Howard last season. Oh, oh, right. When he was part of Corruption. Right. And I remember he was, he was on fire at one point. And just they, I think they ran into, um, who did they lose to last what? season? I can't remember. Do not remember. <sighs> what day is it? Man, I don't even know that. Yeah, but I was, I was really looking because I wanted to see um, Tom, his return to, to, the, to the ring. And uh, yeah, he didn't do um, like, like he did, he didn't perform as, well as he did in his last couple of matches going yeah. like perfect in the first round and like only missing one question here and there yeah. he missed several questions but yeah you know. and what drives me nuts about that is that everyone's like well see tom's so overrated and it's like chill, chill. it was like, one match yeah. everybody's had a bad match and for all we know they're stepping up the questions for for this tournament yeah just because the competition is so tight um but uh yeah tom pulls it out i'm, I'm uh, he now he goes up against uh, Jader, who? Jader, which is Oof. a lot of fun because now Jader versus Tom will mean manager wise we're getting Ken versus Grace, Ooh. so that's a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of fun. That's gonna be very entertaining mm -hmm. to watch. Mm -hmm. I love Ken and I love Grace, so 
that's gonna be mwah, you know be so good next match next match please Ooh. Mike Kalinowski versus Perry. Oh yes, Nemiroff. We got Mike, the killer. The killer. We said Kalinowski. it wrong. We said it wrong Did last we? episode. You I think every time I do it wrong versus scary Perry Nemiroff. Perry Nemiroff makes her return to the singles division. Yes, Mr. Kalinowski, of course, of corruption. Miss mm -hmm. Nemiroff, of course, of the Mercs. Mm. Round one. Yeah. Perry missed the very first question, yeah. and that's always shaky when yeah. that happens. She missed the first two, doesn't she? She missed, I don't know exactly which question sequentially, but mm. she missed the first question, something about gremlins, mm. something about blazing saddles, which was like, oh, it, just, <laughs> it really hurt me. And then something about the emperor's new groove. Oh, uh, yeah. Mike missed a question about the movie Us because it was talking about like doppelgangers or I forget what it's called. The, the, oh, the, um, tethered. The tethered. That's what it was. I almost said replicants, but that's like movie. blade or something. Is that what that is? Replicants? What's replicants? replicants? Yeah, I think, I think you're thinking blade. <gasps> Did I do it right? Yes. All right. Tethered was us, though. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of round one, four to seven in favor of Mike. So, yeah. you know, it's yeah. kind of like a little, little <laughs> oh, rough, no. a little bit rougher for Perry in this first round. Yeah. And I was interested to see how Perry would do in this match. And it has been talk about ring rust. I think they said her last singles match was what, 2017? Yes. Yeah, so Not counting exhibitions, yeah. singles. Yeah. Because like, she, she competed in the uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, exhibition against uh, who was Cody Hall and uh, the Barbarian, mm. and uh, I remember her doing really well. And she had an Iron Man against Cody at one point. Yeah, that was last season. But as far as singles is concerned, yeah, like it's been a minute. Regulation play, it's been, and it's different. It's a different vibe. It's a different atmosphere. Um, and like, uh, well, I'll get to that. Let's go ahead and do it. round two. Round two. Mike goes first. He gets Pixar at first, spins away, and gets <sighs> new releases. It's a strength of Perry's. He goes to multiple choice three times, gets two of them. Missed one, Perry stole it. Mm -hmm. Goes to Miss Perry. She spins away from monster movies, which I was kind of like, Ooh, uh, because I know she likes scary stuff, mm -hmm. but maybe it's I don't I don't know. Spins away and gets monster, monster movies. movies. <laughs> so anyways, it was Schmodown fate yeah, that Schmo she got. It. Yeah, goes to multiple choice twice. Got them both. So by the end of round two, mm -hmm. eleven to eleven, tied up. Tied it up. Mm -hmm. Round three. Two point for Perry. Movie release date. Mm, movie release date for Schindler's List. She got it. Yeah. Two point to Mike. Judd Apatow, who co-stars with Catherine Heigl in Knocked Up. Got it. Mm -hmm. Back to Miss Perry, 1990s. Ooh, a very special question for me. No, yeah, that's right. Home Alone 2, the name Mauve and Harry go Mauve. with after getting out of prison. Mauve. Ma what are you doing, Mauve? <laughs> Why are you dressed like a chicken? <laughs> Home Alone and Home Alone 2 are the one of the cornerstones of the Christmas holiday in my family. My mom watches it about, oh, I don't know, 87 times each every year. Yeah. Well, we watch Home Alone uh, every year for Christmas. It's a tradition oh, yeah. in the Deep Malta household. It is a tradition. In this Deep Malta household, I should say. Yeah, but my God. So, yeah, she got it. The Sticky Bandits. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was like, so come good. on, it's the Sticky Bandits. There's a whole scene where he has tape on his hand and he's going through crowds. So good. Stealing coins. So good. <laughs> Love those movies. Home Alone 1 and 2. Anything after that, mm, mm. get out of my face. Three point for Mike. Disney. Oh, Ralph to be a breaks is. the internet. Which MCU character seen taking questions from a line of fans? I believe it was Groot, Groot or and or Baby, Baby Groot. Groot. Yeah. He missed it. He said Iron Man. Stays with Mike for his five pointer. Meryl Street. Oh. The Post was not the first time she directed, was directed by Spielberg. What mm -hmm. film was it where she played Blue Mecca or something like mm -hmm. that? And it was AI. It was AI. He, I forget what he, he said. He said uh, Ready Player One. That's the one. Yeah. And he missed it. Mm -hmm. So, in a <sighs> crazy turn of events. Crazy upset. 13 to 16, Perry Nemiroff takes it. This has to be this nominated for absolutely upset. absolutely has, to, has be to be nominated at least, if not yeah. win, because this is, wow. This is a huge blow No slight to, that to side. Perry, not yeah. to say she's not good, mm -hmm. but when I saw Nemiroff, Kalinowski, I was like, Kalinowski, uh, yeah, come on. Kalinowski's going to take this yeah. one, right? Yeah. But, you know, you don't know anymore yeah. in this, this sport. This match proves Anything can happen in the Schmodown. Nothing's guaranteed. It's like, oh, yeah, this person, yeah. they're going to wipe them out. It's like, we've seen crazy stuff happen yeah. in the Schmodown. This is an absolute example of that. You see Mike get yeah. Disney and Meryl Streep for his three and five points. Yeah, and like I would argue that 
we'll probably see another match like this where like, oh yeah, this person should absolutely win. It's like, no, yeah. don't, don't count that person up because anything can happen in this Not game. Not no mo. And like, Not no mo. And I've said it before, there's differences between, you know, knowing movies, talking about movies all the time and knowing, being ready for trivia. And we'll get to that in the next, in tomorrow's episode. I'm going to talk more about this, but like there's been examples of people like, oh yeah, I can, I can swing this in this league. And yeah. Then, nope <laughs> and then perry's like struck me as somebody that you know she talks about movies all the time she works for collider and interviews people all the time but it's like but her trivia knowledge isn't like up there with people but then this happens like well maybe i'm just wrong <laughs> yeah so this this has to be nominated for upset like people, people if are, this is not nominated for upset of the yeah. year something's gone there wrong. there's a couple matches here and there it's like is it an upset because based off this person's track record and they're yeah. on a hot streak whatever 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 this one is like no, we all saw Kalinowski just running through, running through um, his side. It's like now this is a this is a huge, huge bracket buster. Oh my god! If yeah. you if like I would if you submitted your brackets for you know whatever whatever and, and like and you didn't have Perry on this, I argue everybody's like, yep, yep, uh, Kalinowski. It's like oh, without even thinking about it, probably yeah. Like pretty much everybody's brackets have to be busted at this point because this this shakes up that side of the bracket so hard. Oh, huge! It's I feel huge. like. I feel like with the elimination of Paul Preston and Mike Kalinowski, yes, that those, side of the bracket is like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, like it's anybody's game now on that side yeah, now. Absolutely. So, but I think we also... We still we, got Ethan Irwin running around. Yeah, but still you, know, Ethan, you never know. We still got Ethan Irwin. Mark Riley's on that side as well. Mm-hmm. So You never know. You got you Oyama. Know. You got Snyder running oh, yeah, around. So. It's, 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 uh, but it's not. But it's, we're not going to get like, like Kalinowski versus Riley or... Um, who else Kanaski Oyama or you know it's just yeah it's crazy because I did I was like watch watch this freaking singles tournament be you know a corruption of finals again chance versus Kalinowski mm-hmm. or something yeah and then that's out you know, that's out of the cars now Perry but... just rides in on a raptor from <laughs> Jurassic Park and is like nope good one I like that <laughs> thank you the Indoraptor <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that movie it was fun yeah. it was weird but it was fun uh, you know uh, it was all right I mean, it was the only one of the new age Jurassic Park I've seen. I didn't. I've never seen like, what's his name, Chris Pratt. Like, oh, you didn't see uh, Jurassic Caesar World? Milaning a bunch of raptors. I like that one better than <laughs> Fallen Kingdom. Oh God, Fallen that. Kingdom was an Indoraptor. Yeah, I mean, Oof. I had fun. Oof. I had fun. Oof. It was all right. I think. I think maybe it has a special place in my heart because our dog's name is Indy. Indy. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Kalinowski and Shannon Barney, whose dog is also named Indy great minds you know what i'm saying but uh one of the stupid names i call our dog indy i call her indo for some stupid reason because i'm an idiot and so when they were like "Ooh, we call this one the indo raptor i was like oh, oh and then i came home and played with the dog and she got all crazy running around the house with her little dog zoomies and i'm like look we got a little indo raptor. so get maybe la- the get a laser pointer a, no uh, i hate when people use laser pointers with their animals but no I don't know. That maybe that's why it has a special place. Yeah. Uh it's not a special place. Maybe that's why I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> next match. Dumb villains. Dumb. <laughs> just a bunch of dumb, dumb, dumb. That movie? Yeah. Yeah. They should have probably just stopped after the first one. Am I right? There's gonna be another one, so <laughs> which was the one when uh what, whoever it was woke up when uh oh, a raptor was like Alan. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, trust, uh the third one didn't see that one i've only seen that clip and i think that's hilarious <laughs> oh it was bad i mean i mean it's not as terrible as i i whatever <laughs> next match please next match <laughs> and i believe it's only one good great jurassic park movie the first one. the first one okay good oh yeah jello on a spoon yeah raptor nails just clicking on the kitchen floor <laughs> Um, next match, and I believe, according to my notes, is mm-hmm. the last one before the throwdown. Mm. So, we have... Whatever. <laughs> next match. Versus Chance, the Cobra Ellison. David Del Rio is representing the rock stars. Chance is, of course, with corruption. And I don't know if we said it before, but I noticed that somebody mentioned one time that, man, there's a really big missed opportunity that we didn't spell Chance the Cobra with a K. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now it bothers me every time I see it. That's Why is Cobra he, spelled with a K? Because he came in with corruption. He's been corruption his entire career. Yeah. Corruption spelled with a K. Why didn't we spell Cobra with a K? Where? What? Who? What? <laughs> All right. So let's move on. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Missed opportunities, Harloff. Come Man, on. Man. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Round one. 
<laughs> David missed the first question about John Week, the John, Baba Yaga. John Week. Chance, on the other hand, gets a perfect round perfect. and then gets the bonus. So yeah. seven to nine in favor of Chance at the end mm-hmm. of round one. Round two, Chance decides to go first. He spins. Oh, right. This was an interesting moment. He spins right in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Of right in between two slices, DiCaprio and Inner Kingdom. Inner Kingdom. Inner Geekdom. Inner Geekdom. Inner Geekdom and DiCaprio. And Inner Geekdom is on the right side of the of the uh, the needle. And they're like, oh, yeah, so. So you, you get the one that's on the right. And I'm like, wait. I what? thought that when this happened in Star Wars, when it first happened in Star Wars, they, they let, let them pick. pick. And then they were like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do, do that. that. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought, unless the, the I'm mistaken. The software tells you. Yeah, I thought that the soft, I thought they came to the conclusion the software tells you, well, even though you, it appears this is the one that I actually landed yeah. on. Unless, again, I'm losing my mind and I imagined that. I maybe. thought that that's the way that they were going to settle it if it ever happened again. Yeah. And it just kind of seems that all of a sudden it was like, well, we're going to pick the one that's on the right. And Chance Ellison got Inner Geekdom and he just won the Inner Geekdom tournament. So yeah, we're going to give little, him Inner yeah. Geekdom. But for all we know, like, uh, <laughs> before all we know, the computer tells you what's on the right side. So it's like, that's that's, that's a very good point. So maybe like yeah, the software tells point. you it's like, oh, it's. It's this one, and it always tells you it's the one on the right. Are you with the Shmominati trying to provide a... If I was part of the Shmominati, I wouldn't get 12th Muda out in 8D8. That's also a good point. Sore spot. Let's move on. <laughs> so Chan spins between DiCaprio and Inner Geekdom. Inner Geekdom's on the right. Mm. And he it, doesn't do great in this this round though either. He, you know, he did well. He did well, but it doesn't like we were expect. He we were expecting just, him to bowl he through. Just it. won the Inner Geekton uh, uh, tournament. Yeah, we expect him like, yeah, okay, perfect round. Run Boom. through it. Just run through it. He struggles a bit. He went to multiple choice twice. Mm-hmm. He got one, missed another, and that one did get stolen yep. by David. David goes next. He spins dramas. Mm-hmm. He yeah. multiple choiced it once, missed it, but there was, was no, no steal. steal. That was uh, that was a. Big miss on his part, but also a missed opportunity for chance. Oh, yeah. Because by the end of round two, 14 to 14. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I was like, oh, oh, no. This is shaping up a lot like the Mike Perry match yeah. where he was ahead in the first round. Mm-hmm. Then at the end of the second round, they become they come out tied. And yeah. I was like, oh, and this, oh, my God. Are we going to get another upset? Yeah. Here? And this has shades of last couple of tournaments for chance because he's mm-hmm. never gotten past the first round in singles, in singles tournament. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh no, is this gonna happen again for Chance? Is just the Shmomanani just gonna like have different plans for him? Yeah. So it was it was weird, but like David is doing really well, because um, I, I forgot yes. how he did in his first match, same um, in his last season, and it's like, oh wow, I forgot that he's actually pretty like, good. He did really, he did well. really I mean, well. I mean, the match is not over yet, yeah. but you know, he's doing really well. Yeah. So round three. Two point for David. He gets Thriller, who stars as Hannah Heller and Hannah. He gets it right. Mm. Chance, two pointer. Comedies. In what spoof film will you find someone named Yogurt who <laughs> teaches the power of the Schwartz? Space balls. Space balls. Never seen it. Oh, <laughs> we ain't found. <laughs> he got it right. I love that movie. I'm sure it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Same, same code on my briefcase. <laughs> Lost. Ooh. Come on, people. Well, you got to be with. Put it in the comment section, people. Give me your space balls jokes. No thanks. <laughs> I'll watch the real Star Wars. I mean, come on. I mean, right? Yeah. Space balls. But still, space balls a, is hilarious. It's, it's all right. I'm sure. Space balls is hilarious. Three point for David. He gets Tom Cruise. What film is the only one where he collaborated with Francis Ford Coppola? He got it right. Mm-hmm goes back to chance for his three-pointer he gets animated what 2017 film depicts teen warriors with the voice talents of jackie oh, chan he got it really Dave quick. franco oh yeah he got it quick enough that i had to go back and be like chance i didn't hear the question dude yeah like i get it you're good at trivia <laughs> five pointer for david calm down calm down okay <laughs> david's five pointer he gets disney who voices dr calico in bolt i feel like that was whoa oh, and we just watched bolt I didn't pay attention. He <laughs> missed it. Five pointed a chance. And it was kind of like, okay, I guess this is wrapped up, huh, yeah. ladies? But then they're like, oh, musicals. And oh, I'm like, oh, no. Okay. Shmominati got different ideas. Shmominati again. So, what 50s, 1950s <sighs> film 
contains songs like Some Enchanted Evening, Younger Than Springtime, and I'm Gonna Wash That Man Right I've out of my hair. I've never heard of these songs. I've never heard of the songs. I've never heard of the movie yeah. or the Broadway play or whatever it is. So much to nobody's surprise, <laughs> Chance missed it because how would you know that? So it was 19 to 19 at the end of that. So now we go to sudden, sudden death. death. All right. Question number one was a question about kingdom of heaven. And they both got it right. Mm -hmm. Question number two was something about a movie called Suburban Commando. Oh, yeah. This is the, um, the, the Hogan question, right? Oh, Hogan. And I think Del Rio said Super Nanny, Super Nanny or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, no, it was Suburban Commando. Mm -hmm. And David missed it. And Chance yes, got it. it. So I believe that puts us at 20 to 21 in favor of Chance, Chance the Ellison. Cobra Ellis. Keeps it rolling. I'm telling you, man, Chance is going to be player of the year. If he continues he's this streak. a hard bargain. I mean, he he's becoming dominant in all three of the divisions he's competing in. It's not yeah. like he competing in the ones like, I'm going to give this one a try. It's like, yeah. no, he won the Inner Geekton tournament. He is the two-time, youngest two-time teams champion we've ever seen beat Founding Fathers for that. And that's yeah. a ridiculous uh, rivalry that I want to continue to see. Me too. And now he's he he's made it. Again, it's only the first round, but he can go far in this. And if he continues to run it, even if he he um, doesn't win this tournament or and he ends up, you know, not ending the season without any of the belts, I still say, like, come on, player of the year candidate, at least a nomination. Oh, he has at to the be very a least candidate a at least. Because he is on fire right now. Sure, he stumbled a bit in this match. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? From time to time. But the, the heart of a champion, the heart of a, a, a elite players don't get shaken in those moments. They're like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to blow past this this mediocre round that I had and just continue to deliver. And took it to, it took it to sudden death and he didn't blink. Yeah. So... A lot of people could have let that get in their head and yeah, be like, exactly. oh, God, how did I miss that five-pointer? But... Yeah, and just crumbled in that moment. It's like, no, I'm going to stay on top of my game. I know I can and pull this out. And he got the win. It's, it's yeah. crazy. And corruption, again, is just... Oof. Doing what they do. They're in first place right now, I believe. Yeah. Actually, on that note, mm -hmm. I think I do have the current standings. Mm. I believe that what's on the website is, is up to date. accurate and up-to-date. Mm. Oh, as a, yeah, because we still have, we're not going to be going over the the. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of the if the. Uh, well, if we're looking at the top three, top three, um, would, it wouldn't matter because. Of, for, yeah, if yeah. we're looking at the top three factions, well, the no, throwdown doesn't really fact. Oh, it does because maybe. Ben's on the Finstock Exchange. Yeah. Well, corruption's in the lead, and they weren't in the throwdown. Yeah. So corruption has 38 corruption points. And swag. Yeah. And swag wasn't in the throwdown, so they're in second, and they have 35. So mm -hmm. 38 with corruption is first place. 35 with. Uh, swag is second place, mm -hmm. and Finstock Exchange. We'll talk about that. Yeah, next. Let's look at the show. Look at the like the bottom half of the bracket as well. See where everybody else is at. So, I mean, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because the throwdown involves the usual suspects. Yeah. Um, it involves let's, the rock stars. Let's just, let, we can go ahead and talk about because all these matches are are um able to be viewed by viewed by the public true so we're not really spoiling anybody for anything if you're not like a patron or anything so uh, let's, let's go ahead and go all right well check it if you're still hanging out with us mm -hmm. and you have not somehow watched the throwdown yeah where you see bateman guy mm -hmm. for a number one contender match and jericho kevin smith mm -hmm. if you have not watched that yet and you are also very intimately familiar with the standings yeah. <laughs> maybe you want to switch off and mute for a second yeah that's your warning three two one mm -hmm. corruptions in first place with 38 swags in second place with 35 finstock exchanges in third with 32 mm -hmm. so that's the top three i don't mm -hmm. know if you want the whole list but um if we're doing top three the bottom three you know if we're gonna mirror it mm -hmm. you got rock stars in seventh they Oof. got 15 next down is droogs with 12 and then you got the usual suspects in last place with what looks like nine. Oh, usual suspects aren't looking good. Usual suspects are having a and after the throwdown, hard it's like. Year. Wait, this says last update was Chance Ellison versus David Del Rio. Okay, so this is. Okay. Yeah. So so as so of actually this yeah this okay so we didn't spoil anything. We didn't spoil. Never mind. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Unmute us, please. <laughs> so never mind. I guess this doesn't factor Sorry, in the throwdown yet. I'm. Being yeah. Cold. So. Yeah, as of this point, as to where this episode is, um, it seems pretty accurate. Good yeah, job, guys. <laughs> but like, it's 
they, yeah, like use those suspects are like they need something. It's been a rough go. It's been a rough because who who do they have left in the tournament? Um, because use those suspects, we have no idea who t- what team they're putting in the tournament either. Um, just because you were you were supposed to have the family. But that's gone. That's done with. That's over with. Yeah, I feel like I've heard and I'm people so, yeah. say, "Oh, put Andrew Guy with Janine. Put Ethan back with Janine, and do Time Machine again." At this point, like, I don't know. Like, why isn't Janine in the tournament? Usual, uh, same. Yeah, I was wondering like, that too. Why, what's going on um, with that? Usual suspects is Sabina Graves. Of course, she did um, fall short to Lon Harris, mm-hmm. Mark Andreco, and Matt. Matt Ashley was usual suspects. <sighs> Matt Ashley, we just talked about losing to Mark Andreco. Mm-hmm. And then you got Irwin, Ethan Irwin. Yeah, that's that's gonna so be. So I have a hitter. feeling he's gonna be around for a little while. Yeah. And then you've got Robert Montano of Late to the Party. He's gonna be facing Jeff Snyder Jeff next Snyder, week. Yeah. And um, yeah, because I'm I'm almost banking on Irwin just to run the table and get them the points they need. Yeah. But it's it's rough to to, to for for the the um the suspects right now because it's like what do you have left? You have, we really don't have a team to bank on right now unless you put Time Machine back together, which they were pretty good. Or if you put Guy and Janine. I mean, but after, I mean, that's true. We'll talk about We'll this talk about now. this more tomorrow, but like, <laughs> that's a good point. Well, I mean, and the dungeon, I don't know where, where they were. Um, the dungeon wasn't looking good, too good either. So the dungeons jumped up. They have they? I think uh, the dungeon is now in, wait. The dungeon, wait, the, oh, the dungeon is in sixth place with seventeen points. Mm. I mean, where they came from? Yeah, they're doing they're doing much better than I think oh, anybody yeah, could, thought yeah. they would. Because they have um, what's his name? Who who beat uh, Sabrina? Lon. No, that's swag. No, Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina, Sabrina not Sabina. Not Sabina. Vinny Mancuso. Mancuso. Mancuso looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks. He, good. he looks very good. So, um, but he has to go against uh, Irwin. Oh yeah. Can you Wolf. imagine? Can you imagine if Irwin? doesn't beat mancuso and mancuso upsets Irwin. that'd be another suspects candidate. suspects are in a in, in a terrible position mm-hmm. if that happens so that would be that's good yeah too. so um let's go over next week's matches and s- just talk briefly about those look at me being prepared i've already got Ooh. it you don't have to stick around for me to google anything <laughs> fill dead air yeah so here we go august 31st which is monday probably maybe the day you're listening to this so this week's yeah this week's matches. This week's matches. We keep saying next week. Cause next we, week. Sorry. We, we film during the weekend, guys. Sorry. Time. What is time? It's a social construct. So Monday, August 31st, or and or maybe today, mm-hmm. you're, we are going to get Liz Shannon Miller <laughs> versus Rachel the Switchblade, Silvestrini. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is interesting because Rachel is beginning a lot of flack for being put in the tournament. Like, why yeah. do you put Rachel in over Ben Goddard? And it's yeah. like, look. We don't know. Oh. Did, did we not just see Perry Nomaroff upset um, Mike Kalinowski? Exactly. Anything can happen. And it's been a long time since we saw Liz Shannon Miller compete. Exactly. And she hasn't competed in this digital format. Um, and, and like I and I, there's another thing that I wanted to talk about between the dig, between digital live and uh, um, studio matches. It's different. It's different. It's, I feel like I feel like I feel like that's a good point to bring up when we talk about Andrew Guy and Ben Bateman. Yes, yes. So we'll we'll. Put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. <laughs> Put a pin in it and we'll talk it about it And we're going to build to it. Save it. Build, build to it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's um, Liz Shannon Miller. She's of swag. Mm-hmm. And then Rachel the Switchblade is of the den. Yeah, it would be great for us if Rachel can pull, can come to play because Yeah, take out, take out a swag. Take out a swag competitor. Yeah. That'd be pretty and cool. And a really a heavy hitter That'd be for pretty swag. That'd be cool. Yeah. And then Tuesday the 1st, September 1st, because it's already September Somehow, we're getting Jeff Snyder of the Rockstars Ooh. versus um, Robert Montano. Mm. Who did I say he was with? Robert Montano. He's a suspect. Is a suspect. And he's that is correct. Late, uh, he's the late to the party guy, right? And yeah, yeah, he's the late to the party guy. And might I just say, the other day we were watching some schmodown on YouTube. It was mm. probably one of the premieres. Mm. It was probably one of the weeks last week's matches yeah. we were just talking about. And then my YouTube was like, oh, I'm still an autoplay idiot. So it, <laughs> it just happened to play another schmodown match and randomly it just started playing late to the party versus the action. Uh, the, uh, uh, team action. action. Team action. Yeah. I almost said action on me. Yeah. Um, it was late to the party versus team action. And I was like, 
<laughs> All right. I'm never going to turn on a team action. <laughs> so I miss team I miss action. Team action and I miss so swearing much. in Shmoda. I, I get yeah. I get it, but I miss swearing I miss in Shmoda. I miss it very dearly. <laughs> because how are you going to handcuff Andrew Guy? He's you got to so let good. him fly. You don't <laughs> clip those wings. You let him soar like a beautiful bird. That entrance was hilarious. We're reacting. Oh my God. <laughs> Team action has had some pretty sick, like when they did the Top Gun entrance when they're in those like jumpsuits and they're yeah. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that one when they brought out their moms when oh, they were yeah. like in their little blazers and their sweater vests. Team action. Oh man, I miss them. I miss them. Maybe one day we'll see them reunited. Wouldn't that be quite be, a storyline? Winky, winky, shmominati. Mm-hmm. So. That's well, okay. Well, back to like the party. So we got, we got, um, no, but you were going to a point like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. My point was that we watched the <laughs> team action late to the party match, and I, I watched the whole thing because I didn't remember, I couldn't even tell you who won that match. Yeah. And, um, I remember watching it and being like, wow, he? late to the party did a good job. Yeah. Like they came this close to beating team action. Yeah. And a lot, and no, and it was their yeah. debut. Mm-hmm. And Team Action was making fun of them the whole time. Like, oh, you just sit on your couch. I'm a reactor. You yeah. know, it's so much different when you're on the stage and mm. in the studio under the lights. And they took them to the limit. Mm-hmm. So they did a really good job. And I remember Robert was actually shooting some barbs back at them. And yeah. had some of and his he's own. good. His own, you know, yeah. trash talking of his own. So I could... I'm not making many more predictions yeah. for this year because it seems that whoever you pick, it seems that whenever I pick somebody, it's the kiss of death. <laughs> it's the kiss of death. So I almost don't even want to say what I was about to say. Yeah, but this is yeah, but but, <laughs> but this is these these are two teams that need these points. Yeah, especially for the suspects, rock stars and suspects, and like you, well, especially for the rock stars too. Yeah. And I mean, it, like if you one of your top well, yeah, hitters in last place. doesn't deliver, it be, it's a lot like oh, Jeff shade, Snyder. If it has, has shades of the Kalinowski match, yeah. If, if Snyder doesn't come to deliver, then it's like oh, it's like, your, what are we one of your now? biggest hitters is out of the tournament now, and then you have to wait for the team's turn from for him to come back. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm I'm looking forward to this because God, the upsets this season is just like you know oof. what I'm gonna say what I was gonna say because it doesn't matter because. It doesn't matter. So um, Robert Montano, I kind of was, I was telling Andrew, I think that there's a potential that if Robert Montano comes to play Mm -hmm. and he brings a mind game with him. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost get like early Bibiani-ish vibes Mm -hmm. from Robert Montano, at least in that last team action match Mm -hmm. in the sense that I feel like Robert Montano, if he uses the right like jabs needling little jabs Mm -hmm. he maybe might be able to get under jeff's skin he might be able to annoy jeff enough to maybe just give him that one little push you know and get him off track yeah because so it'll be interesting to see it'd be it is because snyder is a little spotty sometimes and he's and he's shown that if you can get under his skin that affects his gameplay yeah and er, and we've seen it happen bringing this up again like he pretty his little inner geekdom rant Oh, yeah. pretty much showed gave you the blueprint on how to beat him it's like he's not gonna watch inner geekdom movies put inner geekdom on the wheel yeah and like put and, and hope he gets categories that you know he's not gonna study up on hope he spins inner geekdom or opponent's choice poke and prod him a little bit and it's gonna be harder to calm him down in this digital space because roxy's not there to pat his back and calm him down and because how often can saying sexy numbers really bring somebody to a yeah victory, I, I, so. I, I, <laughs> i'm i'm getting a little um not annoyed it's just like it's like, all right. Come on, Rox. I know you have. I know I, you got I, more than I that. I know you got more than that. Show, you, you're, you're being a little bit one note right here. It's like, I'm like, let me save you like 20 seconds. Oh, sexy numbers. Oh, oh terrible, terrible numbers. numbers. There you go. There you well, go. Move on. How about we use our 60 seconds in another way? Yeah, just saved you 20 seconds. I there, just Rox. wonder, uh, part of me wonders how much of it mm-hmm. is her just trying to almost annoy sticking you. it to the fans. Because yeah, that's I remember seeing it in this, the last Rockstars match. Mm-hmm. I was, I did have live chat up 
Because every so often I look at it because I yeah, guess I just I like to hurt myself. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I like the pain. I don't know what, I don't Give know why. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So um, I did see a lot of people in chat like, eh, here she goes again, sexy numbers. Wow, Roxy, yeah. get a different shtick, you know, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then part of me, because somebody else said something that mm-hmm. made me wonder. Is, yeah, somebody goes, guys, if you keep saying it, she's just going to keep doing it. Yeah almost to spite you and to annoy you so i wonder how much of it is her just beating a dead horse because she thinks it's a good gig Mm -hmm. and how much of it is her knowing that a lot of the fans are over it and she's like well i'm gonna keep doing it because i know it annoys you (laughs) i'm just saying i wonder (laughs) i'm just saying i know roxy has more to her her trash talk so like let's see it yeah it seems it seems like it's a lot of sexy numbers trash numbers and oh you're trash even if you win <laughs> yeah and it's like oh, i'm so glad that we lost it it's i've like, never I been know, happier to lose <laughs> yes yeah, like, i know you're more competitive than this i like, know I there's know. more i know you have more to offer let's there's just, more shades to roxy than this <laughs> yeah I, I i just don't believe that she's like oh let's just do that oh, next match that we're getting next week yeah. september 2nd which is a what Wednesday? Mm-hmm. We're getting ooh Craig Barbarian versus ooh. Whitney Seibold. Oh, this that's is, gonna be a good one. Yeah, this is another heavy hitting first round. Heck like, yeah, and, Seibold yeah. I think is somebody who people are, are quick to underestimate. Mm-hmm. So um, I I don't think it's gonna be an easy win for either of no, them. No. I think it's gonna be a fight all the way to the end. Who knows? I'll, maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna end in TKO yeah. either way. And maybe Cybold's like, oh god, because he, he we saw him the loss against uh, who was it? It was a uh, final exam. Maybe he takes that loss and goes, oh, oh yeah. man, I really have to prepare more, yeah. especially against the barbarian. How good he is. So yeah. maybe he he brushes up a little bit and tightens his game up, and we get a a fantastic match. Heck hopefully. Yeah. Because um the only pick that i will give now is that i'm a, i'm gonna side with the finstock exchange so i'm gonna go with craig on I mean, that come one on because it would be weird if we didn't yeah we next the, one we need the points thursday mm-hmm. the third is gonna be oh another finstock exchange we get Ooh. mark yodi riley Com- versus video drew coming off of that coming rough, off of a rough loss, rough loss I, in you, teams you know he's he's out for blood he's now. gonna be fiery he's baby. Gonna be fiery he's gonna he's be gonna be a hot little potato oh yeah so you know? so obviously we are gonna go with mark on this mm-hmm. one um video drew is somebody who i also don't think is to be underestimated i feel like when she first debuted it was kind of like mm. yeah but i feel like she's definitely tightened she's, up her game she's yeah then. she's improved every time we've seen her she's upped her game a bit yeah and uh going up against mark riley you're gonna have to come to play so oh. I do feel like this one, I feel like, you know, we're coming at it from this angle because we obviously are, exchange. I mean, Andrew's an exchange member and I'm a Finstock sympathizer, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, so I know we're kind of coming at it from that angle, mm-hmm. but I do believe that Seibold and Video Drew, um, it's easy to talk about them since they're not on the exchange, but yeah. I do feel like they're two people that are very easily underestimated. Yeah. So and people, I think both yeah. of these are going to be scraps. And people are underestimating, underestimating Mark at this point too, because it's like, oh, yeah. how he, how is he not performing? I mean, blah 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 blah. It's like, come on. The the fan base is vicious. Yeah, this turn year. on you. I don't know what it is. Yeah. If it's the it's quarantine like, stress, come on, <laughs> but show some. It is vicious. Show some because GD respect. Yeah. to the first champion. Yeah. Of the movie True Your Showdown. Show some respect, yeah. please. Two time champion. Yeah. Come on now. Because I feel like after Who's the Boss won, it was just a, a absolute outpouring of Ben Bateman's overrated, Mark Riley's finished. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, you know. Come on now. Come on. Come Everybody's on. had a bad match here and there. Come mm-hmm. on, man. Come on. So I'm really excited to see Riley versus Video Drew. I think that's gonna be a scrap as well. Yeah. Um and actually I think that's I think that's the week because then the next one, September 7th, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, is the is the next Monday. Mm-hmm. So we'll talk about that next time. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh there's a schedule put a, out. We don't get a throwdown on Friday? I don't think so. We should have. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm like I found I found this. In the Facebook group. In the Facebook group from Tim Sim. Oh, yeah. And Tim Sim's so, pretty much on it. So he seems pretty, he's a visual storyteller according to Facebook. So he must be on it. <laughs> but yeah, he posted something for August 31st through September 10th. Mm. But we don't want to overload. So mm. we're going to talk about uh, the week. And that seems to be the week, unless mm. it's a throwdown that I'm not aware of. There are exhibition matches that I know we haven't really been touching on. Yeah. I mean, we can't really, because if you're not a patron, we don't want to be like. That too. We don't want to exclude anybody and that kind of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Giveaway stuff. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. too. Yeah. Even though it would be very underwhelming to be like, hey, this exhibition match, you can't watch. Guess who won? This person. Yeah. So. 
<laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of zi- that would be that would be yucky. Yeah, that would be yucky. So that's next week. Yeah, loads of matches. Like and um. Yeah, so hopefully our guys can can come to perform, get us those much needed points because it just seems yeah. like we're on, it, and we're in a sophomore slump, and that's okay. And we were, and the um, the horsemen were were a lot like this last season. Like they're they're one loss away from just like disbanding, and mm-hmm. it was like, all right, so now here comes tournament season and get back at it. So we'll see what happens with these guys. So I think we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode. Nikki Benalata, where can they find you online? Well, ladies and gents, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me at Demi, D-I-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y. As for me, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch, Drew Dumalanta, D-I-M-A-L-A-N-T-A. The watch is on YouTube. Well, if you're on YouTube and you want to like and comment and subscribe, and then there's a bell icon in the corner, and then you can click that. And when we do stuff, you'll know about it (laughs) if you click it because YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> help us with that algorithm algorithm <laughs> watch you're, hours if you listen to this in audio form on the beyond the smartdown podcast feed go ahead and rate us please and if you'd like to support the the channel and the show other than just liking comment and subscribing and rating head on over head on, wow god head get, on ooh. over to patreon patreon. <laughs> patreon.com slash andrew and nikki and i see ki i don't i don't forget what you say after that <laughs> Thank you for picking up the ball when I fumble. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of the Patreon and the squadron, thank you to our squadron captains, Tamar Butta, Ferris Mathana, Josh Estes, and B. Dor. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Beyond the Schmodown. We will see you next time. Next time.